from the Scripps Studios, this is 10 News. Hello there, I'm Virginia Chow with this 10 News update. A beach in Encinitas reopening this morning after a 13-year-old boy was attacked by a shark over the weekend. Beacon's Beach was closed on Saturday afternoon, not long after the boy was badly hurt by the shark bite. He's now recovering at Rady Children's Hospital. We're told he's in serious condition, but they say he will make a full recovery. There have been no reports of shark sightings since the attack, but new signs are in place warning beachgoers about going into the water. A deputy accused of groping more than a dozen women back in court today for his preliminary hearing. That hearing will involve the five new accusations that led to Richard Fisher's second arrest. Deputy Fisher's new attorney says they will likely seek to discredit the accusers by bringing up inconsistencies in their stories. Fisher is accused of groping at least 19 women while on duty. Three of his accusers expected to testify during the hearing today, which is expected to last four days. To mark the one year anniversary of the mass shooting in Las Vegas, the San Diego Sheriff's Department is reviewing the ways to keep the public and deputies safe in case of an active shooter situation here. A detective who was in Vegas during the shooting and helped get people to safety showing trauma kits today and rescue sleds that display happening in Imperial Beach in the grassy area near the library. And starting today, sdg &E customers will get a little relief on their upcoming bills thanks to a settlement over the closure of San Onofre. Residential customers will get a one-time refund of $13.80. Those customers can then expect to see a recurring refund of $1.32 a month. All right, let's talk about this muggy weather coming here, Megan. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a very warm and humid day, feeling very tropical as we are tropica, tracky, tracking uh, what was Hurricane Rosa. The moisture associated with that is going to be surging into our area. If you actually saw a little bit of rain yesterday, today we could get potentially a lot in these strong storms that form in the mountains and the deserts. A flash flood watch is in effect for the mountains and the deserts from noon until midnight today. We'll see that chance for a few showers or thunderstorms pick up after about 11 a.m. And that's anywhere in the county. But the peak activity really will be confined to the mountains and the deserts. For the coast and the valleys, it is going to be feeling very humid. 70s and 80s along our coast, mid 80s to low 90s for our inland neighborhoods. We'll be in the 70s, but it will be sticky in our mountains and 90s and very humid also in our deserts. We are also going to see bigger waves coming through due to this tropical disturbance. A beach hazard statement is in effect, in effect until 6 a.m. tomorrow. Waves of three to six feet along with strong rip currents will be impacting our beaches. We'll get a little bit of a break on Tuesday, but then another chance for rain due to a cold front coming through will arrive on Wednesday. So Virginia, a couple of chances for rain this week. Wow. All right. Thanks so much, Megan. For the latest news, weather and traffic, just go to 10news.com or you can download our free app from your app store. For 10 News, I'm Virginia Shaw.